person that you need to subscribe to in uh, Instagram? Rick Rubin. You know who Rick Rubin is? The godfather of hip-hop. What's so gangster about Rick Rubin? He has one, one post. Okay, one post that leaves up, then he deletes it the next day. So it makes people keep going back to his site because if they miss out on his post, he's, they're done. There's no archive. Today's quote that he just put up, there is no right or wrong taste. It's just taste. The stuff that he says, it's very high level. I think I've shared some of his stuff before. It's like when we are patient and pay attention, questions usually answer themselves. The reason why we can't process things or why, uh, you know, we get perplexed in getting an answer because we're not paying, we're, we're not in the moment and we're too, too hasty and they get impatient. They want, you know, and that's the problem with today. today. It's like everything just wants, ever delivered right away, you know, like Google, you know, or Siri. And everything, your answer's at your fingertips rather than going through a process. Well, here's another one. Moving on to a different project then circling back can take away tunnel vision and prevent you from losing the clear perspective. Sometimes you get caught up doing a project like that and then we just take a step back and then you see from a distance the, the clearer picture. It's like, okay, that's what I was missing. But all your work should accumulate to what you're encompassing, you know, all the reps, all the good reps that you're putting in should, you know, build up in your relationships, you know, uh, for future opportunities and contacts. Stand at ease. Repeat, say, Most people want success, but they don't want to go through the pain and struggle of getting success. You know, they're waiting for that perfect moment. If they keep waiting for that perfect moment, what ends up happening? They never get started in the first place. And that's why people have excuses why they can't get things done. They believe excuses better than their than their actual goals and dreams. Most people put on a shelf their dream or goal, whatever they had, they put it on a shelf called someday and they leave it there and it dusts. They dust and never to return to it. Is the pain of staying the same, you know, greater than the pain of change. And if the pain of staying the same is not greater than pain of change, nothing happens. Like they have to want it. They have to want it. And most people fail at that. Because of fear of failure, fear of not being accepted, you know, fear of other people's opinions. That's what ends up happening. The same energy that it takes to create a negative thought is the same energy that it takes to create a what? Yes, a positive thought. You know what I'll do is I'll show you where uh, my previous schools were. You know, you know that whole story like Karate Kid Miyagi and everything like that. No joke, I went through that. I would come home from middle school, go straight to the karate school. You know, I would do chores. I, I had to learn how to, you know, sweep the floor, mop the floor, clean the bathrooms vacuum the carpet, uh, clean the windows, the mirrors. Had to do all those things before all the other kids came in. And in return, my sensei used to give me private lessons. My mom enrolled me in martial arts early. She was seeking out help at a time when she didn't know how to raise me, her being a single parent, and sort of my mom's way of preventing me from being a latchkey kid which I don't know if a lot of kids know what that means today, but a latchkey kid is, uh, you know, you just go home. You know, you have a key, you open the door, sit yourself in front of the TV, you know, no supervision, and you just wait for your parents to come home. You know, so instead of hanging out on the streets, I was hanging out at the school, and through there, you know, I got life lessons from my, from my teacher at that time. My sensei sat me down one time because I think he was asking me why I liked uh, karate at that time. I said something that a normal 10 year old wouldn't say. And I said, I really like the, the art and the competitiveness just to show your skill sets. And he didn't expect that. And I said, 
I go, I like how karate makes me feel. And he looked at me and he goes, he goes, Pat, one day you're gonna make a difference in this world. All the actions after the sentence that came out of his lips has led me to where I am today, right now. I'm honoring what my teacher did for me and hundreds of men, women, and children later. I'm able to do that and scale it up beyond what I thought was possible. So I wanted to bring you here, I want to show you. See where it says CC Nails right there? That was a location of the first school that I belonged to, the Asian Tiger. This was a brand new plaza at that time. And I taught there since, you know, 1993. Then eventually decided to break out on my own. I'll show you where the second location is, come on. If you look at this glass onion, that's where I built the first cup it did. September 10th, 2001, the day before 9-11. And that's one, two, three, four, five, five, six doors. <laughs> on the same side of the street. It was a ballsy move, but my clients had, and my members had belief in me. If I waited till I had everything, all the ducks in the line, do you think I would've ever built the school? Hell no. I had credit cards and a prayer, that's what I had. And thank the Lord, he sent a angel investor. One of my earlier clients invested, you know, into me because he believed what I did and the kind of changes I made for his for his family. Now, did I know my worth and did I know that I was doing that? Of course not. I was just doing what I was doing. Most people want to be bosses right away without putting in reps of mastering their craft. All those good reps that you're going to put in, all those good deeds that you put in will build up to eventually, you know, the massive results that you want in your life, but you gotta start somewhere, it's a process. Too much of this society today is me, 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 entitlement and everything like that. And instead of being patient, being patient and going through the reps, good and bad reps, correcting yourself from the bad reps. You know, even now, you know, yeah, I've been successful, but you know what? I strive to do more, because you know why? My members deserve it. You know, my members deserve better all the time. So that's so why I want to be the best that I can be for them and the families. You know, most of them could have chosen any other school, but they chose me. And it wasn't a coincidence that they chose me. And because of that, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be their mentor, their guide, their teacher, their coach. I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity. You have to be passionate about it. You gotta love what you do. If it ain't a hell yes, then don't do it. You know, it has to be a hell yes. <laughs>